I have recently come back uh, from Mozambique and well, as I was praying and reflecting in Mozambique, excessive flooding hit uh, Mpangeni uh, in, in Natal. And whilst we are here, a lot of people uh, have suffered from flooding in Port St. John's, uh, in the wild coast. And water uh, is life, but when excessive water uh, displaces God's people, it becomes something else. I have witnessed this pain of displacement. I have seen young children traumatized. I have heard people repeatedly say, it happened in the night. And they are scared at the moment in some villages to sleep at night, just in case Cyclone Adai comes again. I have seen the makeshift homes that people live in at the moment. I've seen the agricultural areas destroyed and water everywhere. I symbolically gave oil, rice and seeds, but the people of Mozambique need roads, they need their churches rebuilt. They need their homes rebuilt. They need to be relocated where possible. They need food in the meantime. But above all, some said, Archbishop, please, if you can get as many tents as possible, smaller tents rather than huge army tents where the whole community is put in there, they want to recreate some form of family where in a small tent they can live together. Please give as many tents as you can. Please give as many seeds and food as you can. More importantly, what I've learned is I should not bring my own solutions. I should hear how they have survived in the past and come alongside them and empower their coping strategies in that context. So Cyclone Adai, is indeed a humanitarian crisis that once again lays bare the fundamental injustice of climate change. But above all, from the Anglican Church, Green Anglicans and the Anglican Church Environmental Network, we say the church must make climate change and environmental justice their priority. Thank you. Please challenge your governments to do something about climate change and then please give to the Anglican Disaster Fund and all the others that uh, are helping in Mozambique.